Hey guys, welcome back. Today is all about colors of the year for 2023. Now, you may not like what I'm gonna say, but there's some ones that, ooh, should be left in the paint deck. And then there's some ones that are really fabulous that you're gonna wanna use in your home. Hey, and if you're new to my channel, let me tell you what to do. You wanna hit that subscribe button right away. And then you wanna bang the bell so you know when I drop a video and you get notifications. And I sure wanna hear from you guys today in the comments about what you think about the color of the year. So guys, you know what the biggest question is I get from everybody every day is what color do I paint? X and it could be blues, it could be greens, or the big baddie, which is whites. But that's why I love talking about the color of the year because you kind of go, what do I really care about the color of the year? Well, the color of the year actually gives you the general direction and the idea of where colors are going to be going. So eventually you're not only going to be seeing paints, but you're going to see flooring, you're going to see furnishings, upholsteries, all those kinds of things sort of moving in this direction. So it's good to understand kind of the direction of things and how to use it. As you may have already seen, because it's all over social media, is the direction for the overall color trends is staying close to what happened last year, which is this reintroduction of a warmer palette and what's really nice about that is that you can see that this is kind of a, a reprise of the 70s but kind of with some better additions definitely there's always the prerequisite green because green is going to be the color of the decade for sure there's also some lovely kind of chocolatey browns and some black and oranges that I didn't expect I'd like, but they're good. There's certainly saturated blue-greens, that's happening. But the most unpleasant event is a reprisal this year from almost all the vendors of a really vile version of mauve. Now, if you don't remember mauve from the first time, I'm personally of the opinion it should never happen again. Okay guys, so here's my top four, skip them, paint colors for sure. Sherwin-Williams Red End. Ooh, that's that mauve color I was talking about. Glidden's Vining Ivy. Okay, they got so close to good, but they just kept going and did not get there. Third one here is Dunn Edwards Terra Rosa. Ooh, it looks like it's a bruise. And the fourth one, which is, a uh, Sin against, I don't know, eyeballs, is Don Edwards' grassy knoll. Now, guys, there are so many things wrong with this, I can't even start. But the top two things are, it's a hideous color. And secondly, they chose to do what with it? Show it in a bathroom. Oh my gosh, this is the worst offender of all. So that's, I think, number one. Okay, so my top four faves for this year First one out of the gate is HGTV and Sherwin-Williams does a collab and this dark room, ooh, super sexy. You can use this one, no problem. Second one that really kind of surprised me and is the opposite of that Vining's Ivy is this sexy one from Valspar called Everglade Deck. I would paint my bathroom that color. That's gorgeous, especially if it was my powder room. Number three, oh, Pharaoh and Ball never fails to absolutely make me want to swoon. I love this one called Hopperhead. If you don't do a bedroom in this color, I don't know what's wrong with you. And then the fourth one, of course, it's a Benjamin Moore color, as always. Bitter chocolate, kind of a yummy tone called Wenge. Ooh, I love this one. And of course, I could have this in any room at all. And I am not a big brown wall fan. Okay guys, speaking of Wangang and Benjamin Moore, let me just show you the difference between these guys and everybody else. When starting a design project, are you afraid of making expensive mistakes and worried that there are no answers to be found when you need help? Well, worry no more. 
Help is on the way. Welcome to the Design Club. With over 30 years of design knowledge, award-winning interior designer and YouTube personality, Lisa Holt gives you the tools to boost your design confidence and let your creativity flow. The Design Club is the new way to get your project done the right way. Don't waste another minute or another dollar. Join the Design Club today and start designing with confidence and the knowledge to get your project done right the first time. Take a look at Benjamin Moore's colors of the year for this year. Now, there's one sort of off in there, but the rest of this palette is absolutely representative of a deeper lean in than the colors of last year, which is 22, which are beautiful and they sort of set the note for what they're now introducing for 23. But 23 leans in a little harder on what's called the joy trend. Now, these are not body colors, guys. You are not gonna paint your entire house savanna green. Ooh, if you do, don't even show me that. What you are gonna do is use them in specific ways, like accent uh, walls. You're definitely gonna be able to pop with these. And because they are part of that sort of joy trend and a little bit of a reference to nature, they're really spectacular. Their number one color of the year is this delicioso one called Raspberry Blush. And I gotta tell you, this is all about dining rooms. Oh my gosh, you could do an entire dining room, especially if you're a transitional type of person, you're gonna love a dining room in this. And as you can see, they've really leaned in. They've shown it to you in a dining area as an accent wall behind a fireplace, love that. And just as a regular accent wall, so it goes across the style statements. So easy to use, and it's a really, really gorgeous red. And red can be tricky, guys, right? The next one that they did that I really love, and it's called Cinnamon. I think this is spectacular. Now again, just like the Raspberry Blush, not something you can use everywhere. It's a specialty color. Almost all of them they introduced are, but they work so well with the rest of their palette from last year. So it's a nice combination. Now, the third one that I really adored, and again, it's a little bit of a surprise for me because I don't really tend to lean towards blushes, is something called Coral Blush. And there's just enough of a yellow golden soft undernote into this so that it doesn't feel salmon-y and it doesn't feel like, I don't know, a baby's bottom. That's a lot of blushy ones or ashy. It doesn't feel ashy either. It's really actually a gorgeous color. And you can see here, it blends well, great with neutrals and you could probably spread this one out and maybe do a whole room in this color because it's soft enough in terms of its LRV. So that's a really nice addition. Now, say you love them, but how do you use them, right? All right, you want to go to my vi- so here's the ticket. You wanna to go to my playlist on all of my painting videos, which will tell you everything about how to select colors for your space and where to use them, even how to paint if you want to do it yourself. And if you wanna know more about trends, be sure and join the Design Club. Check out these videos. See you soon.